Seven dead, one person hit after two separate shootings in Half Moon Bay. This man, uh, this morning rather, the man accused of firing that gun is in custody. It all started Monday afternoon. San Mateo County Sheriff's deputies were called to San Mateo Road for a report of multiple people shot. There they found five people with gunshot wounds. Four of them were dead. The fifth person was taken to Sanford Medical Center in critical condition. Sheriff's office said shortly after discovering those five people, deputies found three more people shot miles away on Cabrillo Highway South. At a news conference, San Mateo County Sheriff Christina Corpus said both locations were roughly a mile apart that the victims were believed to be farm workers. We don't have the exact connection at this time, but um, there are two separate locations. Uh, one was a nursery, and there are actually two nurseries. And um, what I can tell you is that um, we are working at trying to gather more information uh, t t to figure out what the connection was. The sheriff's office identified 67-year-old Chin Li Zhao of Half Moon Bay as the suspected gunman. Deputies found him in his vehicle in the parking lot of the Half Moon Bay substation. He was arrested there, and deputies found the weapon used in the shootings. Now, several families in Half Moon Bay who were already displaced by the mass shooting were also taken to a reunification center set up in the heart of this small Bay Area town. The center is just miles away from where that shooting took place. And KCR 3's Leticia Ordaz is there now. She's in Half Moon Bay this morning on Main Street, where this community is really desperate for answers. Leticia? Brandy and Mike, good morning. We'll get to reaction in just a moment, but we, we want to let you know that that suspect is currently being held at a correctional center in Redwood City, which is about 11 miles from Half Moon Bay. He will be in court to face a number of charges this afternoon. From talking to residents here, they're really desperate for answers, and they say they are living a nightmare right now. They can't believe this happened. They can't believe that seven people in their community were killed. They were brought yesterday here to the Portuguese Hall in Main Street here, where they were coming together to look for answers and to look for loved ones as well. So this reunification center was set up last night, and at the height of it, 40 people were staying here, including more than a dozen children. We are told they have since been placed in hotels. Last night, the reunification center was really a safe haven for families looking for answers. There are two separate crime scenes right now that investigators are processing this morning. So dozens of farm workers, their children and other residents had to come here and we're told by volunteers that at least one family who came to the Portuguese Hall yesterday found out the news that their loved one was in fact killed in the mass shooting. Community members have been stopping by to donate supplies like blankets, toiletries and more. And what's really hard for this small community is learning that some of the children living at both farms had to witness the violence. I cannot imagine what those kids witnessed. It seems um, there is a family member in there who might have lost a family member in one of the shootings. So we can hear a lot of crying. It's, it's heartbreaking. And that suspected gunman will be in court in Redwood City at 1.30 this afternoon. Mike and Brandy, back to you. And Leticia, we understand you also have some new information about the specific charges that he is facing. What are those? Yes, Brandy, it was just listed on the San Mateo Sheriff's website for inmates, and I can show you the charges on your screen right now. He faces a number of charges, including one for discharging a firearm, causing grave bodily injury, another charge for attempted murder in the first degree, as well as willful, deliberate, and premeditated murder charges. Currently, he is not eligible for bail, and those charges are expected to increase because of the death toll in this case. Reporting live in Half Moon Bay, Leticia Ordaz, KCRA 3 News.